Jefferson County families are facing a tough change. The schools that their kids go to now could close next year. There are 16 schools on the list, and when the district votes, it will be to close all of those schools or none. A closure would impact more than 400 staff members and thousands of students. But the district has been here before. Allendale Elementary and Fitzmorris closed at the end of the school last year. Our Jefferson County reporter Jamie Larry caught up with a Fitzmorris family who are sharing what happened when they had to say goodbye. Fitzmorris was about to go from 114 students to just over 80, so it made sense to close, but families had no idea. They told me there was even fresh paint on the walls and new carpet. The news was devastating. We linked up with a former Fitzmorris family living a couple blocks from here, now watching other families go through the same thing, and they want them to know it's okay to have questions and fears. As a parent, I think it's hard to watch your kid grieve basically their school. So every time I talk about it, I'm like, ah! Jamie Camp still fights tears when she talks about Fitzmorris closing. Her son was eight when he learned he'd have to go to Lawrence Elementary and was terrified he wouldn't make friends. Things now are much better. Their son has friends, even a teacher that has crazy colored hair like him. Jamie, along with her wife Brandy, wants others to know what worked. Things like a list of families also going to their son's new school helped them set up summer play dates with parents in a similar boat. It also helped to know some of their son's teachers were going too. Unfortunately, not all of the 422 staff displaced this time around will be able to retain a job. And in the coming years, more closures are likely. It's why Brandy and Jamie say continued transparency with the district is crucial for parents and their kids. Well, and these kids too, I think they understand more than we give them credit for. So being yeah, transparent with them and telling them the truth. You know, yeah, it's gonna be scary, yeah. There's a lot. Hey, don't on. be afraid to express your fears. There will be a final vote by the school board on November 10th after the October public comment period. Jefferson County School District says it's also looking at consolidating secondary schools next year. In Jefferson County, Jamie Leary covering Colorado First.